protected from head to toe, knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards, mouth guards, and helmets. These young girls from across New Hampshire are ready to rumble. Junior Roller Derby is a growing sport for girls ages 7 to 17. We're going to have you come up, and you are now going to be my bracer, okay? Coach Amy Eskelson started the New Hampshire Junior Roller Derby League last summer. She plays for the adult team and has long believed young girls would benefit from the fast-paced, challenging sport. Derby had given me such um, wonderful opportunities to grow and learn about myself and to become more confident that I wanted to share that with the youth today and the youth in the area. And so it was really important to me to start a junior league to help kiddos here in this area um, grow and learn and be empowered and, and realize their confidence and their bravery. They start by choosing a derby name. 14-year-old Mackenzie Garbos, it's only her second time on skates, is known as G Sharp. Since my last name is Garbos, that's where the G comes from, and then Sharp because I'm in all honors, and as an eighth grade, I took Algebra 1, so next year I'm going to Geometry, and then I love to sing, so it's a musical note, so it's got a triple meaning. This fierce 10-year-old, Nevaeh Marino, chose waffles. My sister makes the best waffles. As a team, they're called the Sabotage Sisters. One, two, three! Sabotage Sisters! Be brave! They practice here at the JFK Arena in Manchester. You see these pink lines? We're gonna practice lateral hops. Drills, skating, scrimmaging, in a bout, one player on each team serves as the jammer. If you've seen any roller derby before, she's the one that wears the star on her helmet. And she wants to get through a big pack of blockers who are going to hit her and stop her with these strong walls. In order to, to get through them, she has to also be fierce and push through. And she, when she skates around the track, the second time through, she scores points. And for every blocker, she passes. And we do that over and over in two-minute segments um, with 30 seconds in between. The team with the most points wins. But the girls say they get much more out of Derby than winning. We focus a lot on like empowerment and being confident and stuff, so I definitely think it's helped a lot with my confidence and just kind of being more focused on positive things. I like the fact that like you don't get judged and you don't have to be completely yourself. You can put on a little bit of an act. It taught me that no matter what you do, be brave and always stand up for yourself. Nevaeh's dad notices a big difference. I think it's just um, the confidence level in her has been built up. And for nine-year-old Ailey Macbeth McPherson, or Derby Creeper, she can forget about her type 1 diabetes. Her mom monitors her blood sugar level from the sidelines. When we need to do something about it, um, the adults have arranged for us to, a special path for us to go, and we run and we give her glucose tabs, or we run really quickly, give her a shot, and then we scoot back, and she doesn't have to think about it. She just is Derby Creeper, and she just plays. The sisterhood helps the girls conquer the challenges and soften the falls. Two weeks ago, I kind of fell on my butt, and it hurt, but eh, you get over it. It doesn't hurt if you fall the right way. They try to teach me the right way to fall, so I kick off the three-inch wedges and slip into the skates, put on the protective gear, and I'm ready to go. All right, here we go. It's been a few years since I've been on skates, but it doesn't take me long to get back into the groove. Erin Woodside, or Saiyan, her derby name, gets right down to business. It's basically more just trusting your pads, that they're there and you're not gonna be hurt, because it's just down. After a little hesitation, boom, I'm down. Saiyan also gives me a lesson in blocking. Hips, shoulders. Whoa, and then don't trip each other. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be upright, though. Uh, so you more like this? Like this. Because that, you will just go straight across the floor. Roller derby is a hard sport. We've had girls that didn't know how to skate when they first um, started and they fall a lot and they have to get back up and keep trying. That perseverance and determination impresses Coach Amy the most. 
All right, you guys ready? Go, Chloe. She remembers 10-year-old Chloe Locke's first practices. She looked like um, like a deer on ice. <laughs> like, just, just very, very um, accident prone in terms of falling down frequently. Now she's found her stride and is one of the most aggressive on the track. Good, Chloe. Good, good. And like the other players, has fallen in love with the sport. I think it's a really good thing to like meet friends, boost your confidence, and do everything that's fun.